let's unlock some super rare Pokemon. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian, and today we're catching Pokemon. I see a Pokemon card, or at least what resembles a Pokemon card. I don't know exactly how this works, but I'm gonna collect these egg-looking things. I'm gonna throw them at the cards. Oh, okay. All right, it says Pocket Monster on the card. I understand. But we don't actually know what's under the card. Oh, man. Okay, this is, this is cool. The, 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 open the cards. There you go. You get your pack. We unlocked a Bumble and a Hermit. Fight! Now, how do we upgrade these Pokemon? That's what I want to know. Because I just got absolutely destroyed. How am I supposed to win? This is literally the first level and you make me lose? That is brutal. Okay, what is this? I need 95 gems in order to unlock this. Okay, so I don't have nearly enough. It's very rude. I thought these things were eggs. Turns out they are, uh, they're Pokeballs. They look like Pokeballs when I throw them, but when I'm picking them up, they do not look like Pokeballs. So I don't know what's happening. Um, maybe I need to tap the screen? I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Okay, hit revive. Whoa, what? Okay. Um, so that's how you win, I guess. When I revived, my Pokemon came back, evolved up. So that's how this works. I love this weird looking mushroom guy that we're about to unlock, but let's keep this going. Okay, we have a choice here. Uh, do we go blue or yellow? I, I think gold or yellow is kind of the way to go. I don't know if that's the right way to go. Oh, level up my card. Oh my gosh, I love this. We still don't know what it is. Okay, go go uh, yellow or gold. I'm, I'm gonna say that's gold. Both of the backs of the Pokemon cards are now like iridescent, I guess is the best way I could describe it. So what do we get? What do we got? It's, oh no. Wait. Are they the same? It's a two-star bumble. And then flower is not one that we've had before. Okay, so so we fight and then we we die or do we win? We win. All right, good job, crew. I didn't even need to revive. Dude, poor Team Rocket, man. Give me 108 gems and then unlock a new monster. And then I can do this. What does this do? I don't know what that did. I don't have enough to upgrade it again, but that's fine. I, I think that I've made myself stronger, better, faster. I don't actually know though. I do love that the cards uh, that you collect are face down. So you have no idea what you got. It's like opening a Pokemon booster pack. Okay, which side, green or blue? Let's go green or teal. Okay, we've got three Pokemon. They have a pretty strong crew though. I don't know if we're gonna beat this. I mean, I also don't know if their crew is actually strong. Clearly it's not. And I know nothing about weird knockoff Pokemon. I actually don't know that much about regular Pokemon because I'm like fully familiar with the first 151 Pokemon, but beyond that, pretty cloudy. Let's upgrade. Okay, let's upgrade again. I don't know what this stuff is doing, but I'm doing it. Uh, let's go purple. I like purple. It's good color. All right, get my purple card. Okay. Then we get blue card and then we get to upgrade. Probably don't want to take them through a chainsaw or a, a, a whatever, just a saw. And then we'll get this one because it's slightly cooler looking. We're going, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So two of our cards are now like rainbow shiny. What the heck? What did, what, what is that thing? Rabbit? Okay. I'm I'm having a hard time keeping up with how much is going on, but I'm loving it. And we're unlocking Snake Guy. Upgrade me. That's all I can do. Okay, collect my egg Pokeballs. Get those guys. All right, I got a blue card. Get as many of these gems as we can get. It's worth noting, um, when you have cards trailing behind you, they actually collect stuff that you would otherwise probably miss. So that's kind of cool. And then we're gonna upgrade this. Okay, so we've got we've got two three stars, I think. I know that's a weird sentence, but no, all of them are three stars. Holy cow! I'm awesome. I'm like the greatest Pokemon trainer ever, basically. <laughs> that just has 
next to her. Aren't Pokemon not supposed to attack humans? And I'm making my Pokemon literally blast this guy through walls. Maybe I'm the villain. You ever think about that? Whatever, don't care. I'm getting my snake guy. Welcome to the crew. I'm upgrading this thing. Still have no idea why. All right, let's make sure that we have seven Pokeballs so that we can get the uh, the better one. Yeah, 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 right here. There we go. I wonder if it's possible to get both, actually. Like when you have the side-by-side -side Poke cards, um, can you, can you like unlock one and then move over to the other one? Probably can't. I don't think you could could move that fast. All right, this time we only got one three star. That's kind of a bummer, but hopefully it's enough to take down the team. What the heck is that? They got a Flora? Is that the evolved version of that little flower one that I have? I don't know. We'll probably find out here eventually. Just, poor guy. I just, you know, I kind of feel bad. Kinda. What the heck is that? That thing looks awesome. Let's unlock it. Also, let's upgrade. Oh, now we have like hammers that will squish me? What? Why? All right, let's go yellow. But I'm gonna keep calling it gold because gold connects to legendary. And I prefer to think that it's legendary. And look at this. We got another legendary. Give it to me. What are these lightning bolts? What What are these? We've never had these before. Oh, they, they charge up the upgraders. Okay. And now we get a, a, a purple, a magenta, whatever you want to call it. That's a pretty stacked squad right there, if I do say so myself. Look at this electrical cat. He looks insane. <laughs> Are we going to win? Oh, yeah. Easy. And we're going to knock this guy past three? We have not yet knocked him past three until this very moment. Talk about timing. Give me this weird Growlithe. It's like fire dog and then upgrade this. Still no idea what that does. I don't know if that's like some kind of multiplier or something like that. It, like it adds to how many gems you get. So like each one gem actually counts as two or I don't know. Either way, I did want to avoid getting my card squished by the hammers. I don't know if it matters. I mean, typically squishing a card when it's face down isn't going to do anything to it. But I don't want to find out. Just going to keep my cards nice and safe. Dodge all the things that will chop them up. And oh my gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> that, was, that was a fully statted three-star squad. It's weird though. Sometimes the game just automatically throws me into the battle. And then other times I have to actually press the play button. Why is that? I've upgraded twice, now I have times four. Times four what, you ask? Wouldn't you like to know? I actually don't know. I, I really don't. I have no idea. Let's get these Pokeballs. There we go. All right, give me the teal. Thank you. Upgrade my red card. Beautiful. It's it's so sparkly, it's a holographic now. These, give me these, okay. And for those of you who think I'm a Pokemon card poser, check out my shorts. I actually have a video, if you haven't seen it already, uh, where I found my like, I don't know, 25 year old Pokemon cards. And uh, it was just a little trip down memory lane for, for me. And then it was, you know, showing you guys uh, some of the cards that I have. So, you know, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Now let's fight. I am Bumble, hear me roar. I love that. Didn't we just play like, what was that game, Murder Hornet? And the, the, the Hornet, oh my gosh, we just got times four. That That's Max right there, that's awesome. Uh, but this, this Hornet Pokemon that we just unlocked is what? the same as one of the extra skins that we got in Murder Hornet. Go figure. There's Pokemon everywhere. Give me an upgrade and let's catch some Pokemon. But they're not actually Pokemon, they're, they're Pokemon cards. I'm catching Pokemon cards. That's kind of a weird thing. Whatever. If you want to be the very best, like no one ever was, then to catch them is my real test and to train them is my cause. Upgrade. Thank you. All right, there you go. Get them. Get in there, crew. Oh, absolutely destroying. I only lost one Pokemon, which is actually really sad when you think about it, because it's just laying there and it's like gray and lifeless. Why you gotta do that to me? 
Either way, we unlocked cool fire dog. Growlithe wannabe. I like him. And let's upgrade. Okay. What is that? Do you see this blue thing off in the distance? What is that? Is that the track, like, wrapping back around? Is that something that we're going to eventually interact with? I have no idea. Probably not. I don't think the game is that intuitive. Give me the golden. Maybe I should go with the teals. I don't know. Does it matter what color they are? I think it really just matters what the back of the card is, right? Because... You can tell, like, this is a one star because it's just kind of, like, flat. But then when they get, like, the holographic look going, then they're a two star. And then they get, like, mega holographic and they become a three star, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how any of this stuff works. But either way, I can charge up this upgrader. Thank you. Yeah, that seems good. This is going to be a fully stacked squad. What the heck happened to that guy's card? Why isn't he standing on his card and instead standing in front of his card? It's a little confusing. Smash. Get absolutely bodied. Okay, now we can go past times four, though. Look at this cactus guy. I like cactus guy. Upgrade. More. I need more rare Pokemon. Okay, give me the seven. That is the obvious choice. Give me the other seven. And I, I really... I, I'm really wondering if you can get two in a row. But I don't, I don't think you can. I think if they're side by side, your best option is just to take the better one. This is a pretty good crew right here. They, they got a little beat up, but that's all right. Just take them to a Pokemon Center, you're good to go. Still upgrading this thing that no one knows what it does. So why am I upgrading it? Well, what else am I supposed to do with these gems? The game really hasn't given me any other things to use the gems on, so I might as well just use it to upgrade whatever I'm upgrading. Maybe it's just upgrading like my attack power so that I can, oh, you know what it's upgrading? Now that I think about it, look, well, let's see. It, uh, let's test my little theory here. Maybe you guys have already figured it out. But at the end of the battle, we launch the evil team rocket dude into a series of walls, which is like really excessive. But you can see the walls all have multipliers on them. And the highest we've gone is 4.2. You can see that it continues. Is what we're upgrading the amount of walls that you can launch him through? Because you can see we're at 4.8. I think that might be it. I think I figured it out. Now I upgrade to 5, and I'm just going to leave it there. And let's see if we can knock the Team Rocket guy all the way to five, and five should be the max, based on my theory here. Let's test my theory. My game theory. I can't help but do that. Every time I hear theory, I just, I have to say game theory. Oh no, no, go for the seven. Why would you go for the five, you maniac? Once again, go for the seven. Don't go downgrade. Obviously, we only upgrade and we get our three stars out, and we destroy the competition. Okay, let's see. Can we get to five? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going. Not quite, but that is definitely our best so far. I'm not going to upgrade this multiplier thing because I still want to test if five is our current maximum on the walls. And the only way to do that is to actually get the Team Rocket guy launched through all of the walls. So let's grab the best Pokemon we possibly can and not get them squished by hammers. Give me a five. Okay. Give me the other one. And then we're going to be able to unlock an upgrader. As long as we dodge the downgrader, we should be good. All right. Ooh, two upgraders? Don't mind if I do. Oh, we're fully stacked. Okay, so that's a full three-star squad right there. What are they? You don't know until the cards flip over, but you just start tapping. Come on, go, 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 I lost one of my Pokemon, which means he's probably not going to get blasted all the way through. Yeah. I got to keep my crew alive. Not sure how to do that. But we did just unlock Cactus Guy, so that's pretty cool. Give me the seven. Awesome. Give me the five. Awesome. Once again, upgrade both cards. Okay. So we have at least one three star, but no, this should be all three stars. 
Yes! So now we just need to make sure that we don't lose any of our squad members, and I'm not sure exactly how to how to do that. And clearly I have failed. Ugh, it's so frustrating. Because I can't test my theory until we get him through all of the walls. Oh, it's Pidgeot. This is the one. I can feel it. We get ourselves a golden legendary, and then we get ourselves a purple also legendary. Well, no, purple is normally, what, epic or rare? Just depends on the game. Upgrade. And then we get another upgrade. Amazing. Is it enough? I don't know. That's a pretty strong crew. He's got, he's got Pidgeot. Oh my gosh, we died. Okay, that's fine. We can revive and we come back stronger, right? Better, faster, stronger. Oh, dude, you're getting launched. That was a full crew right there. Please, 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 please. There you go, boom, five. Nice Theory confirmed. So now I can upgrade my walls and that's what we're upgrading. We're upgrading the walls. So now we can go all the way to times 5.8. Now the, the weird part about it is that the multiplier gives you more gems. What do you buy with the gems? You buy more multipliers for the gems. It's an endless loop, an endless cycle. Also, that's the first time that we've ever unlocked a, a 10 Pokeball card. Um, okay. So these are just automatically three stars, I guess. Max level. That's awesome. More of those, please. What do you got? We got Bumble, we got Flora, and we got... I love the name of the electric cat. It's Cat. Brilliant. Very creative. I want to find out what Cactus Guy's name is, though. This is important to me, okay? Don't get hit by the axe. Can I get both? No. I almost didn't get either of them trying to get both of them. Give me all of these upgrades. Beautiful. Do I have enough Pokeballs? Dang, I actually almost didn't have enough. That would have been a first, but we're good. We're good. I don't think we're fully upgraded. Yeah, one of our cards is only a two star. That's kind of sad. Cactus guy? No cactus guy? Bumble, rabbit, and hermit. Hermit really keeps to himself. Almost unlocked Pidgeot. Imposter Pidgeot, that is. Why is my screen shaking? Oh! dead dude all right we'll try that again um this level is kind of tricky the spinning axes okay go that way there you go there that's the way to handle that situation much better oh we got two upgraders holy cow all right we had just barely enough okay we got a 10 and we have enough pokeballs so we're good that's a stack squad right are those all three stars there's that middle back one not a three star no, it is. It is. You got cat, flora, and flower. Notably, flora and flower. Very different. Don't get them confused. That's offensive. And we unlock Pidgeot. Fake Pidgeot. But still very cool. Kind of looks like a... Well, he kind of looks like a chicken. Now that I'm looking at him. Still cool. All right. Oh, these spinning axes. Sheesh. Upgrade me. Thank you. Don't downgrade me. We'll just go to the right. We have enough Pokeballs. We do. Just one more upgrade and we'll have a fully three-star squad. And there's our upgrade. And we have enough juice. Beautiful. Can I have a cactus guy, please? Just so that I can see what his name is. No cactus guy, really? And I love the, the card. We could have seen what the cactus guy's name was. But the dude was standing in front of his card instead of standing on top of his card. Oh my gosh, what happened to Diglett? 